So I want you to do this question separately because it's a kind of a throwback. Uh, it involves physics 4A and 4B topic. It asks, a charged particle in a 1.2 Tesla magnetic field is bent in a circle of some radius. It asks, what is the momentum of the particle? Uh, interesting. So uh, one, um, they're not giving us what kind of particle it is. <laughs> so I hope I don't need it. And the second thing is, um, so whenever you're dealing with the particle physics, you have to worry about if it's going to be relativistic or not. So my first inclination is to try this non-relativistically. And then if the, it says the answer is wrong, then we'll fix it up, see if uh, we can submit something else. Let me check the hint, in case the hint says something about... Oh, all right. So let me try to do the non-relativistic ca calculation from first principles. And then if it says my answer is wrong, <laughs> I'll check the formula. It's possible that your textbook derived a relativistic expression, in which case I have no pro trouble using it. But if it's non-relativistic, I should be able to derive it from first principles. Because this is what you have. You have a particle which is of some mass, which hopefully we don't have to know independently, is uh, moving at some speed of it. And you are imagining a region of magnetic field. And let's say the po po particle is positively charged. So I want my V cross B to be, uh, my, <laughs> my V cross B to be downward. So my magnetic field should be coming out of screen. So I'm imagining this particle moving in a region of magnetic field that looks like this. Then this uh, particle would then be made to, uh, there'll be a force that uh, magnetic force from physics 4b of charge V cross B. And uh, oh, so, and I guess we have to know the charge of the, ma charge of the particle. Let's say that charge is positive. Doesn't have to be, but you know. So under this magnetic force, this is going to go in this circular path because the f direction of the force will change alongside the direction of the velocity, uh, the, all, all the stuff covered in physics 4b. And the information that they're giving us is that this travels in some radius r. So if we know it's moving in a circle, in a radius of r, we know that it's undergoing a centripetal acceleration that's given by v squared over r. That's coming from physics 4a. <laughs> so, so you have to remember all that to kind of set this up. So let's uh, now set up the equation. So we've, uh, we have an expression for the magnetic force with uh, which we can say, okay, the net force on the particle is the magnetic force. And here the V and B are perpendicular. So it's going to be just magnitude will be just QVB uh, for the cross product. And that must equal the, the net force that we would, uh, we would infer from the, the centripetal acceleration. So M mass times V squared over R. OK. So one factor of velocity cancels from left and the right hand side. Ah, OK, OK. I see the combination of MV, which is great. We can say that's momentum divided by R. So we can solve for momentum. Say that it's uh, equal to charge times magnetic field times the radius R. OK, let me plug this uh, into the um, Ulfram Alpha. And I want to use Ulfram Alpha to do the unit conversion from what's going to be basic SI unit into the electron volt unit. Ulfram Alpha can do that um, in a single instruction without me doing complicated calculation. So uh, amount of charge. Oh, I don't know the amount of charge. I mean, I can assume that it's elementary charge. Now, it might not be. It's possible that uh, it's a heavy ion that's multiply ionized. But, you know, the question didn't tell us that. So I'm going to assume that it's either a proton, 
well, not neutron, proton or any of the other elementary particles, which will only have an elementary charge. We don't know any elementary particle with a multiples of elementary charge one, or actually we do, but a lot of those are really short-lived. Uh, there are some variants that have uh, like a 2e or, but yeah, yeah, I think we're going to be fine. So elementary charge, that's a reasonable assumption, times the magnetic field, 1.2 Tesla, times the radius, 111 centimeter. So it uh, should have a unit of momentum, and it'll give it the answer to me in a few units, and um, it's not including electron, oh, well, so it's not including electron volt units for me, so I'll say in GeV per C. And that would be in GeV per C. Not light squared. Uh, yeah, that's uh, just... Uh, I don't know why it's a squaring. That's insane way to do it. Alright, let's do it this way. Um, that times the speed of light in GeV. Because... I don't know why it's not doing the conversion right for me. <laughs> Alright, so in that it's going to be 0.399 GeV. So all this is assuming this is non-relativistic, which could be, and, and I guess it must be. <laughs> and you know, if we were proton, then yeah, this would be a non-relativistic amount of momentum. And uh, I am now curious if your textbook has derived uh, this in the... Um, um, in the relativistic case, let's see. Oh, <laughs> did I say 0 0.3? What? <laughs> um, I, I have no idea where that 0 0.3 comes from. Yeah, this is such a slop. Yeah, I'll just tell you I hate this. This is a kind of thing that physicists are not supposed to do. So as an equation with the units, um, this doesn't work. Because the unit on the left-hand side doesn't match the unit on the right-hand side. That's why they are giving you these uh, specifications. This in this one specific unit and no other unit. This in this one specific unit and no other unit. And this in meters and no other unit. I mean, yeah, sometimes, you know, in an experimental setting, that makes a sense. It's quick, convenient, but it, it results in, so this, this is 0 0.3 has some unit that would be a result of combining these units, but it's, so I don't like it. I mean, I can see sometimes experimentalists kind of doing that as a kind of shortcut, something that makes stuff easier for their quick mental calculation, but <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Is there another equation that's more um, reasonable? Maybe not. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I think uh, what the question expects you to do is just to use this 11.2 and convert R given in centimeters into meters, plug numbers in. Yeah, I guess you could do that. I don't like it. I like this better. Yeah. So, so, okay, that's a question 12.